Yo, what's up squad? In today's video, I have eight tips for you to help you perfect your push-up. Now, before we get into it, make sure that you have subscribed. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to as many of them as I can. So getting into tip number one of eight, but make sure that you hang around for number eight because number eight was the light bulb moment for me. So coming in to that push-up position, hands about shoulder width apart, send one leg back, engage through the tummy and lift the other foot. So side note, the wider your legs are slightly easier, the closer together the feet are, the harder. So tip number one is we want to bring the weight right forward over your fingertips. You want your shoulders coming over your fingertips. What this allows is that when we're at the bottom of that push-up position, your forearm is nice and vertical. If you start with your shoulders over your wrists and then lower your body down, we get a very strange angle and not an optimal angle in your arms. So we want to be bringing the shoulders right forward over your fingertips for that setup. Then the second tip is that we want our hands to be active in that position. So we want to be pushing the thumb down to the floor. Now what that does is through the fascia of your arm that helps to connect to your chest muscles to help you out in your push-up position. Similarly, tip number three is to be pushing down through the little pinky, as the little pinky, again, through the fascia of the arm, helps to connect to a muscle called the serratus anterior, which runs from your first rib to your eighth rib. And that muscle helps to stabilize your scapula, helps to stabilize that shoulder joint. So, by having number two and number three, the thumb and the little pinky pushing down into the ground, that creates a really strong, stable position for the push-up and takes a lot of pressure out of your wrists. And that is especially great for those of you that complain that get sore wrists when doing push-ups. So tip number four, we are looking at the spine alignment. So we've got one, shoulders over the fingertips, two, the thumbs pushing down, three, the little pinkies pushing down. Now, I see a lot of this in a lot of people that come into a plank position or into a push-up position. If you squeeze your glutes, that naturally takes your pelvis into a neutral position and means that your core is switched on, helping to support you in your plank position and in your push-up position. All right, so number five, we are ready to get moving. So we've got that nice, strong, stable position. Now, as we lower down, think about keeping your chest proud. So we ideally, movement standards, you want your chest to lower to the floor, but your thigh bones must stay off. Too often, I see people roll and collapse in the shoulders, and that puts a lot of stress into your shoulders. So as you're lowering down, think about keeping the chest nice and proud, Number six, we're going to talk about the angle of the elbows. So we don't want the elbows too wide, as again, that is going to put your shoulder into this internal rotation and put a lot of stress and strain into that shoulder joint. But equally, we don't want them glued in towards our sides. It just wants to be creating about an arrowhead with your elbows. So that will look like this. Number seven is our breath pattern. So we want to inhale as we lower and then exhale on the effort as we push back up. Recap, shoulders forward one, thumbs and little pinkies, two and three, four, squeezing the glutes, five, chest is proud, six, elbows and make an arrowhead, seven, inhale down, exhale, push up. Inhale down, exhale, push up. So tip number eight, the one that you have all been waiting for, and I really hope that it helps you as much as it helped me. And that is when you're right at the bottom of that push-up position, right before you're about to push up the hardest part of the push-up, think about engaging through the tummy first. Think about drawing the belly button in through the spine, that split second before your hands push into the floor. So often when people start doing push-ups or building up their push-ups or when they're fatigued, you see this ripple, this wiggly worm motion. So right from the bottom of the push-up, think about tummy in, exhale, so that you can come up in that one strong position. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you know somebody else who would find it useful, please share it.